Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube gaming channel. My name is Noxander's Rain. I'm gonna show you guys some interesting matches with good teamwork. So here we have a full team. We have Yuki as the gravekeeper, myself as the mechanic, Apopsis as the coordinator, and Chococo as the CEO. We also have a Ripper in this match and he's doing a good job going around i'm pretty sure he's very familiar with the survivors spawn places and he's just going near where the statue is and also the front gate as you can see actually apostles did spawn there but apostles being really really sneaky just goes to a different location just to hide and now since the hunter is near the front gate can see yuki at a distance and going after Yuki but Yuki made a wise choice by putting down two pellets and going underground so therefore the Ripper doesn't want to waste time with the Gravekeeper decided to still look for an easy target and that would be me because I am the mechanic I'm in the hospital I put down this pellet he put down the peeper and I made a mistake because I went down and he went through that door so I know he is on my tail here he gave a foggy and I managed to avoid it just in the nick of time I took another hit just to get the extra speed boost and then I go inside the ruins so it's a good thing that I avoided the foggy because if not it's gonna leave a trail and it's gonna make the ripper have that extra speed boost to chase me so that's why every time if you get a foggy the next thing you know you're gonna get the second hit so when i took a normal hit i still have a little bit of a chance to buy some more time and create that distance so here i just ran inside the hospital and jeng 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 basement is there and i didn't manage to avoid that foggy Actually, I thought that I could avoid that foggy if you watch this playback. There's just that little extra gap in between. But eventually, it's not counted. I thought I could just go in the room and avoid it. Anyways, I told my teammates, hey guys, good news and bad news. Bad news is that I'm in the basement. Good news is that my robot is in the ruins decoding. So, in case you guys wondered how come I didn't just kite around the ruins just now, it was because my robot was there and I just remembered so that's why I wanted to run back into the hospital. So anyways, we're still in a good position because we're down to 3 ciphers and now Apopsis, he is going to come for the rescue. So I really like how confident he is that he's coming to save me. And uh, now we're down to two ciphers and you can see I said that my robot cipher is like 92% and now it's one uh, only one cipher left. So this is when uh, Apopsis just rescued me and Chococo gave me an owl and Apopsis still has his flare gun. So this is what's important. So now I'm trying to get the hunter to take the bait to hit that owl. So hunter did and I wanted Apopsis to remain uh, alive you know so he's just following from the back because he still has that flare gun I'm still trying to kite around this area as well I was trying to be a bit sneaky here but I still got hit I couldn't pellet the hunter in time and Apopsis just waits around and there goes the cypher last cypher pop and he shoots the hunter so that's gonna stun the hunter for a while it's gonna buy me some time now I know that I can still kite around here but I was just you know I was just trying my luck I was just trying to get to the front gate as well because that's where I know my buddies are but unfortunately I did get hit here and this is gonna be my last chair because everyone rescued uh, after half but anyways, my teammates managed to escape and that was still considered a good teamwork because there was a lot of communication going on and everyone is, you know, they, they trust each other, we trust each other and we're confident in what we do best. So here's another match. Um, this is in Leo's memory. 
again we have the same people but uh, different characters so this time Yuki is being the enchantress I'm still the mechanic this time Apopsis is the seer and Chokoko as the mercenary so now we have a spider and this is in Leo's memory so again I just placed my robot someplace else that's further away from me so that I can decode someplace else I can get uh, two two ciphers decode uh, at the same time being a mechanic so here we can see that the spider found a popsis and we get to watch him kite He's doing a great job kiting the hunter here, took a hit, uh, but he's gonna place himself in a better uh, kiting spot that he is familiar with. By the way, he also has a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna leave a link somewhere here, do check it out. He plays hunter and survivors at the same time. So this is an impressive uh, trick, he uses the owl just in time, it was a beautiful owl just at the corner and now he's just gonna repeat the same cycle of going up and down in the factory in and out um if i'm not mistaken in this factory yuki was there decoding yeah she was so as long as danger is like not up in front of her face she can still help decode for a bit and when she knows that apopsis is going in again she just you know she just switch place she just plays herself onto a different cipher so i really like the formation of how we all like you know we're very relenting with each other and we know how to switch things up so here apopsis again going up and down and in and out uh, really buying a lot of time so here again he has nowhere else to run thankfully the basement isn't around there so he got hit and he's gonna be chaired in the factory so you can see yuki uh, just placed herself at the cipher in the corner so now chokoko is gonna go in for the rescue because i said hunter teleport it to me and <laughs> oh my god i just got terror shock there oh man but anyways at least apopsis is safe he can continue the cipher in that uh, factory and chokoko's cipher is almost done as well it's in the middle he just informed us uh for me i still got my robot decoding at the front gate and yuki is just rushing her cipher um you know at the corner there so we're still in a good position and and also check this out even this cipher has progression as well so chokoko is going in for the rescue so he took two hits uh and then he tried a body block for me i tried to run away but of course i hit that spider web i'm gonna be a little bit slow to be honest with you guys, I'm really not in a good place to kite because the hunter is really fast, you know, like spiders, they have that speed boost with the spider web thing. So I didn't have much place to work with and run, plus I'm slow. So I got down and here Yuki would be coming in to assist or help rescue me as well chokoko is down but he's still self-healing you can see the hunter was guarding him and then the hunter noticed yuki so yuki got spiderweb and chokoko came in to help rescue again so <laughs> uh for me i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna place myself somewhere far away because i think hunter is gonna go after me uh, because you know it's it's gonna be my last chair if the hunter got to me so this is why yuki was being sneaky she just waited until the hunter moved away chokoko as well even though he's injured he tried to help decode a bit of that last cipher and as for me i'm like wait for it wait for it and now they can pop that cipher so we still managed to buy some time and luckily i missed that spider spit just by a few meters i don't know so yeah <laughs> i just managed to go up and down run for a bit 
so that my teammates can prepare themselves for escape. There's no more pallets here because it has been used. So this is where I got down and this is gonna be my last chair. But at least I know my teammates, they're at the back and the gate has opened. And they managed to escape just in time when the hunter teleports there. So this is great teamwork. We don't always get it right. But when we do, it's it really feels good and I'm really grateful that I do have a team who is very understanding and they can work together in order to make our gameplays successful. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys again in the next video. Nox and Connie over and out.